I'm here today to redefine myself and correct a few misnomers that were brought forth about me, uh, putting down my personality, personality and my character. Okay, uh, I shall now be called Jeff I is, the guy from um, uh, uh, Black Eyed Peas. Will I am? If Will is Will I am, Jeff I is, and of course, as you may or may not know, I is the vomit guy. Is I not? Okay. Now, what does that mean? It means that I rock to the world of seeing girls vomiting. Not guys, but girls. Good-looking girls. That's what I like. Okay, but not necessarily puking on me. Puking on me would be a Roman shower. Roman showers, uh, I don't particularly, uh, you know, I don't necessarily need Roman shower. I just enjoy rocking to the world of seeing girls vomiting in whatever venue, whether they're wasted, they're drunk, or they have the stomach flu. Howard once said to me, he bets my fr best friend, in the whole wide world is a stomach flu, and I, I uh, maybe I'll agree with that. Maybe I need more friends, okay? Maybe I more, need more friends who understands Jeff the Vomit Guy, formerly Jeff the Vomit Guy, now Jeff I is, okay? Jizz for short. That's my name, Jizz, okay? And I really would like to meet people who share my fetish, and I'm hoping to use Howard's show as a format as a meeting grounds where maybe people could call in and meet up with me through uh, the howardshrine.com and my, my uh, website, uh, my, my, I should say my email address, okay? Okay, uh, well, well, Jizz, best of luck today. Yeah, I'm hoping for, I'm hoping for the best. Uh, I really hope, uh, given the opportunity, you know, I would like to be able to make myself understood and, and you know, be clear about things and not be, a, be a, you know, it's, what's the word, man up. I have to man up and come forth and not be a little mamsy-pamsy sissy boy and hide in the background. I have to be able to communicate and tell Howard what I like and, you know, because I'm 53 years old now. Right. And this has been with me all my life. You're okay? no spring chicken anymore. I ain't no spring chicken. You can't teach an old dog new ch tricks, okay? Okay. I am what I am, my interests, and I believe, and I'm led to believe there are people out there. If I can't be with normal people, because, let's face it, I ain't so normal, I need to be with free freaks like myself, okay? I okay. need to be with people who are understanding, who want to meet somebody who, like, drums to his own beat. You know what I'm saying? Who, sure. Who marches to his own drummer. Sure. I'm not, I'm not you know, of... Uh, of uh, this culture. I never really was, okay? I always was an independent thinker, okay? All right. You know, well, I, have a, I have a therapist. I, I, I can't name any names or any clinic I go to. She's a very good-looking therapist. I, I, I go to her. I fantasize about her constantly puking. I don't go to her to say to her, help me get over my puke desires, okay, about women. I don't have, I never say that. I always say that I want to enhance my my thing by meeting people, okay? right. by meeting girls right. who share it. I don't look to get over anything. Okay? Well, of course not. I don't, I don't find it to be wrong. I think they're to each his own, and this is my thing, and uh, why can't people be open-minded and liberal-minded enough to understand? Right. You know, you know, vomit you, is life, and the rest you, is well, just details. Well, well, yeah, to me, that rocks my world. To me, there are two things that rock my world. Gambling, which I do on a daily basis, and looking for girls vomiting. That's what, that's my, that is my life. Okay. Hard to believe you're, there are not more people like you out there, Jeff. Well, there are people, but they don't, they don't come forward. They Hard to believe they, they don't step into the mainstream. Yeah, well, you know, you might say, yeah, well, who, what girl wants to get sick? What girl could understand being getting sick and also getting some sexual charge out of it? But for me, it's like a voyeuristic thing. A visual, seeing a visual act to take place has always given my libido some enhancement to it. Okay, well, okay. well, Jiz, we're going to let you get yeah, uh, get in there and talk to Howard. Yes, I hope. So. Yeah, I hope so. I hope I can bring forth my tongue-tied ways and be able to uh, um, enunciate, elucidate my, uh, uh, pronunciate my, uh, my, uh, what you know, my, uh, uh, my desires, so it could be clear and understanding. You know, I'm basically holding Howard to a promise he made to me three years ago. He was going to find me some girl. So the one he for Tabitha Stevens thought I had a tiny little <laughs> a penis, and uh, she didn't understand the value of, of, of vomiting or even spitting on me. You know, she couldn't understand, couldn't, couldn't relate to that. He said, Howard said to her, could you please, uh, you know, spit on Jeff or vomit on him? And she looks at him, she looks at me like, like what? Why for? You know, what, what's the reason? You know, so uh, obviously her, her headset wasn't attuned to, uh, to we weren't on the same wavelength. You know, I just was... Uh, 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 a little bit, very disappointed because you know the very few opportunities I get on, and then come what comes after it, you know, nothing. You know, I'm, I'm discouraged by that. So maybe hopefully this time will be different. You know? Okay. 
Good luck to you today, sir. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Jeff Levy is known as Jeff the Vomit Guy. He's been on our show on and off for years. And uh, and he's not too creepy. He's sitting in the, the green room, and he comments on everything that happens as he looks out the door. So as I'm coming by, you know, because I went to the coffee room, as I'm going <laughs> by, he goes, and that's Robin Quiver. It's like he's doing commentary for himself, I guess. Yeah, Jeff, I, I'll be honest with you. I was against you coming in because I'm so disgusted by you. Oh, I'm, I'm disappointed. I'm truly humbled by your appearance, uh, by, uh, by being in your presence. Uh, you should be humbled by everyone. Uh, right. I saw you at the garden the other day. I was rooting for Miami. Uh, Where are you? Why? Aren't uh, you a New Yorker? No, I'm, I'm a New Yorker. I'm a native New Yorker. I'm a native Brooklynite. Uh, I root for the uh, New Jersey Nets, who will be coming to Brooklyn in a couple of years. But there are four teams that I love to hate. Uh, and without those teams, I, I don't know, it would be nothing for me to hate. The Knicks, the Mets, the Jets, and the Rangers. I'm a big Pittsburgh Pirate, Steeler, and <laughs> Penguin fan. I've been all my life, and uh, I grew up with those teams. I, even though living in New York, it doesn't mean I have to be loyal, devoted to New York. I guess I'm not in a New York state of mind, okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, Jeff, you've gotten fatter than what I remember. When is the last time you were on the show? Do you... uh, three, three years ago with uh, Tabitha Stevens, when you asked Tabitha if she could throw up on me, she looked at you, she looked at me, she said, what, why for? You know, she does, just, just, just didn't understand that type of... Uh, so she didn't you know, do it, right? Because she goes along with everything. I think the best she did was spit on me. That's fun. That's, mm. it's, it's, I, I caught like... up a good one. You ready? Yes. Oh. <laughs> now what are you doing there, Jeff? Your nipples and rubbing it. Jeff, you're rubbing it into your belly. I said, I try to smell. If there's a distinctive, some type of odor. There is some form of odor to survive. It is. I had to brush my teeth again. Uh, <laughs> Jeff, what are you doing now? You're rubbing it on your rotund belly, uh, yes. and, you're, and you're smelling your fingers. Yes. Oh. I'm, I'm trying to see. You know, there's sometimes there's a uh, some yeah. type of, of uh, odor. Just update everyone who doesn't know Jeff the vomit guy. Yeah. You, you're like, how old are you now? I'm 53. Are oh, you 53? Yes. You say your father doesn't approve of your vomit uh, fetish, but no, he's an old school. He's from the old school. He's 88 years or 89 years. I think old your now. dad just doesn't approve of your lifestyle. Yeah. You still live with your father. Yeah, you I don't. Live with my you, father. You've I live never with made my a father. living. I know. I, I, there's no. I have no life for me. Have I, you ever had a job? Because you're uh, a bright guy. I, well, I worked at the post. I worked for several civil service uh, jobs. And I, you get fired each time? Uh, uh, no, no. I seem to just walk. I seem to just walk out here. You leave. From, Huh? You I, I basically left. I, what did you do for the post office? I uh, sorted the sorted mail. I was inside uh, work. I wasn't a letter carrier. How you know. often? How often? I worked uh, a midnight shift. I was with all the degenerates and perverts uh, talking about you know uh, their their sex affairs as uh, they were doing the mail. Why I never did you want another letter? Why did you leave a job that at least you had somewhere to go? You were making a living. Your father must have been proud of you. You were able to contribute to society. Why did you leave? I I just wasn't proud. I don't. I just wasn't proud. I mean, I I just. At the time, I was much younger. This going back 25 years. I just seemed to feel like uh, maybe jobs grow on trees, or I could just move on, or just maybe there was do, something more for do, you. Do something. Maybe there's something else out there. Maybe I just wasn't couldn't be constricted to a. Have you ever uh, been diagnosed by a psychiatrist? Is there something wrong with um, you? Um, they, I've gone to therapists who give me the category of being paraphilias. Paraphilias, not necessarily a, a major. A uh, mental disorder, but whereas a compulsive, a compulsive fetish, a fetishist, you know, uh, someone. Who, Aside from your the yeah. fetish that you like yeah. women to vomit on you, are not, you retarded? That's a misnomer. I don't like women to vomit. I like watching it, a visual, a voyeuristic act. You like to watch women vomit. Uh, period. Yes, but not you like them me. to vomit on you. Uh, no, maybe, but not. It doesn't really. It doesn't really uh, thrill me that much. Oh, to, I didn't know to watch that. them vomit on me. No. Oh, I thought no. that was why you laid on the floor naked and hoped they vomited uh, on no, you. No, no. I, I could just as easily be in the, watching in, in the back as they're puking into a toilet or a sink or something. And, and that's and for getting, real, huh? Yeah, that's for and real. And what do you do? You yeah. jack off when yeah, you watch yes, that? Yes, that, that's it. Are right. there websites you can go to watch women vomit? Uh, um, um, there are websites. Yeah, there are. There are websites. Uh, 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 not that many. No, uh, the, the one that I use. Well, how many do you need? Uh, how well, many people vomit and? and get off on it uh, in terms of a, you say it's a legitimate fetish. They once told me at the Ulan Spiegel Society, which was a leading S&M organization, which I was a member of 10 years ago, they said that maybe 1% out of the 1% of people in America who might be into S&M, maybe 1% has the, the, the fetishes of, 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 you know, 
uh, infantilism or, or bodily fluids of getting getting off and getting excited by uh, bodily uh, bodily fluids. And saliva. So you are absolutely uh, saliva. unique. Uh, saliva turns you no, on. No, I'm not absolutely. Uh, yeah, not saliva unique. turns me on. It's oral oral fixation. Yes, yes. Right. And, uh, and and so don't you think that there's something also like you're very odd. I notice mm -hmm. when you talk, and so I don't know if it's a put on. But you're odd. Uh, have, have people told you you're odd? Um, uh, but people have uh, said I'm, uh, I'm unusual or, di or, or different. And they never, uh, your parents never had you tested? Uh, uh, no, I, I, don't, I wasn't tested for autism or anything like that. I graduated high school general diploma. Uh, Did you go to uh, college? I went to New York City community, a marketing major. Uh, I've, Did you uh, finish? Uh, no, I didn't. I you did don't finish, finish anything. Is that your pattern? I, I, I seem to. Uh, no, right. You're right. I don't. I don't finish. You can't How finish. long did you hold any job? I mean, uh, a year. A year at the post year. office. Uh -huh. yes, and then what, yes. what, did, what other jobs did you have? Um, well, in the past three years, I joined Industry Model Talent Agency. I was doing some uh, movie extra work. I, I heard that. You got into with, two movies. Yeah, two movies. Julia Roberts movie, Duplicity. Uh, and you stand in the background? Uh, yeah, about mob scenes and, and what do you get paid like. for that? I, uh, being I'm not connected with any u union, it was uh, pretty pretty marginal, I guess, and it wasn't enough. So it's not a job. It's just a, for an exciting day. Uh, you get bank of, yeah, my Bank of America commercials, Capital One commercials. Uh, and a you know backdrop type of scene. So what do you get like two hundred dollars for the day? A little less than actually, a little less than that. I, I, what was your dream in life? I mean, you say that you didn't want to end up at the post office. I, I, I have I have two goals in life. It seems like I have two things, two driving goals. Uh, I I love playing lotteries. Uh, the legitimate New York Daily lottery. How, do you, how does one get through life? Explain it to me. Without working, does your father pay for you? Uh, I get a disability. Get a disability. What is your grant disability? From the um, so back, there is something mentally yeah, wrong. Yeah, somebody with you. had to declare. Well, you back then. In, well, right back in 1985, I uh, found that I couldn't uh, work regularly or get along well with people. So I had to go through <laughs> many this psychiatry. Is you see, this is why this country's bankrupt. Uh, and, and why many, are we supporting it? He, he can discovered work. discovered that many, he couldn't get along with. Well, people. there are things I could do. There are things I feel I can't do. I, I, I feel in some what ways. What do you mean? You went to somewhere and you said to them, "There's no way I can work," and they give you a paycheck. Um, not that easy, no. no so no. so when you say it's not that easy, you were yeah. diagnosed with some you sort of mental get, illness. So you have to get doctor's reports. What you does your to, doctor's report uh, say? Back in 1985, um, I think they, the paranoid schizophrenia. Is that what it is? Uh, that, well, that's not what I don't think it is. I don't really think I, I fit into that category. But the whatsoever. doctor said you're paranoid well, schizophrenic. Well, uh, they, they, uh, they were basically trying to be helpful that I, I go to a, I get a private lawyer because Social Security did not find me disabled. Okay, they found that I could, I could, you know, be be fit even shoveling, shoveling horse manure. Right. I could do something, you know. And I'm trying to say that I, I can't work. I can't work regularly. I can't fit in. But you so, could work. So, uh, well, I could, you know, if you're motivated, if you're motivated, or you're, uh, you're able to do it, and it's a part, a whole part is being. What is motivated. he saying, Robin? I Mot love motivation. that. Uh, he thinks that people are motivated who have these no. bad jobs. Oh. No, they just don't they, feel they, like they should be on the public dole. If you weren't on the public dole, you would have to go out and work. You would uh, have to, to eat and look at you. You got some bag. Uh, well, uh, I'm not. Well, no, I don't have much of it. I don't have that much of an appetite. I don't. You don't have an appetite. Up, you're, you're overweight. Obese. You're uh, obese. Uh, I don't know. I'm look obese. at his belly. Yeah. Well, maybe I'm at He's five, obese. I'm five nine two thirty five. Uh, maybe <laughs> yeah, I am that's... forty pounds overweight. Right. I, I am sluggish. I eat. You know, I eat a lot of junk foods. <laughs> that's true. That's true. That's true. I, I used to think maybe you like me. Maybe you like me a little. But I know that no, the image the, the image that I personify must be very uh, distasteful no. to most people. Uh, is uh, anyone else in your family? You know, was it a my huge... mother is dead. It must have been a huge from embarrassment. Um, yeah, what a was, It must have been a huge disappointment to your parents. You know, when you have a look, are you the only child? Yes, I'm the only child. And I yes. mean, you know, that baby is born and you have such hopes and dreams and stuff. It must have been cute. Yeah, uh, at what age did they realize this is going horribly well, wrong? Well, I realized at the age of 13, and like and at the age of 13, I was an honor student in a junior high school, but then from the 8th and 9th grade, it seemed like my grades would go from the 90, I was getting 45s and everything. What happened? So I don't know if it was the teachers or the, the curriculum got harder. I, I just didn't apply myself. I, I was always good in history. You know, I, I always was thinking about the history class in the eighth grade, Mr. Wagner at Huddy Junior High School, talking about uh, the Romans with their vomitorium. So I thought maybe I belonged in ancient Rome. I was, uh, I was reincarnated uh, into this lifestyle. I must have 
had something to do with the, the Roman gladiators or something in a, in so a you, formal life. So, so what's going on with the vomit fetish, just so I can uh, uh, wrap this up? Actually, very little. What, what I, what I, I like. You never get a girlfriend, what right? I, well, I, Women what I aren't like, attracted to you? You want um, a girlfriend? Uh, yes, I would like to. My ideal soulmate would be to find some girl who's open-minded to my fetish and understanding that, you know, because uh, some girl, she's getting sick Let me doesn't understand. mean that I hate her. I want to see a, a dead. I mean, it's not like Let I hate Let me understand people. what you would fantasize about. Yeah. If you had a, a wife, yeah, you would like her to vomit in front of you. Uh, yeah, I would like to be in her presence as she's throwing up. Not necessarily. Would she have on, to be naked when uh, she throws up? No, not not necessarily. Uh, not that's not necessarily true. Someone either. told me you like to fantasize that you're a doctor and you put a tongue depression yeah, in yeah, girls' mouth. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's an oral fixation. Yes, yeah, and you want you want to see saliva. Yes, yeah, so, what is, uh, what, is, what is that about? Tell me uh, that. I fantasize about you too, Rob. I, over the years, I could picture. You know, it's fantasy. What do you want to see, Robin? Do you uh -huh. want to look in her mouth and see saliva? Uh, like the picture girl of uh, you know saliva. Like Robin would vomit the, on you. But what, what would you want to see? The tongue uh, the, what? The tongue, the mouth, the, the, the lips, the saliva. Uh, it, there's something about that that's a, uh, what's the word, oral, an oral fixation. Uh, you want to see the and saliva? You want to look in a girl's mouth. Um, would, would you let him not see as many saliva? Op not as many opportunities as I would like. But that's what I'm saying. It's just looking at a girl's mouth, the inside. And yeah, it could get, it could get me. Uh, oh, current, could get what me is it you're looking at, the it, saliva? Uh, yeah, it's the saliva, the, the tongue. The um, um, maybe would you let him look in your mouth, no. Rob? Like he's so creepy. Because uh. that is not. I don't want to turn him off. Even uh. through the glass, uh. you wouldn't let him <laughs> open your mouth and let him look uh. in. No. I need uh, girls to who are interested because they too have the same a similar fetish or they have a desire. Do you want uh. to look in a girl's mouth? Uh, uh. Sally, come in here. This who's is Sally. Sally. Sally is a girl who's agreed to come in and uh, let Jeff look in her mouth. Uh, this is your lucky day. Oh, I noticed that you got your ear pierced. Who? Uh, yes. You yes. did? Why? <laughs> I've had it pierced for several years. Why? Already. You want to look attractive? Uh, well, it seems this to be. This is a Sally. Style. Hi. Oh. Sally, oh, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very pretty. Very yeah. pretty. What? My, uh, oh, you're on my screen. Okay. <laughs> Sally, you're wearing a dress and you have long blonde hair. Uh huh. I'm all women. I'm all woman. <laughs> <laughs> I have a nice pussy. Look. <laughs> What do you think there, uh, Jeff? Uh, uh, I think I think Sally is a phony baloney. What do you mean? Really? Uh, I think uh, you're out of your fucking mind. I'm all woman. Look, uh, yeah. look at this asshole. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm, 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 I'm all man. I'm all man. I'm all man. You fucking creep. I, I'm all man. I know what a woman looks like. <laughs> Sally, you just showed Jeff yeah. your asshole. You're not turned off I by mean, him. I mean, if you show me a tongue, with your, uh, this must be the bearded lady or something. Uh, I'm Italian. Uh, uh, very, uh, very uh, nice. It could, have, it could be look like a female tongue. Uh -huh. Like Ange <laughs> Angela Jolie. You ever know, look at Angela Jolie with those... Angela. Those, Angela Jolie with Angelina. those... Angelina. Angelina Jolie with those... Why don't you lay down? I want to throw up yeah. on you. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I am just not. never would get turned on by a... But he looks like a, a woman. I mean, uh, Sal uh, looks like a woman. Uh, look. No, it doesn't exactly look like Pamela Anderson. Look at this my is, nipples. This uh, is the closest we could get to a girl. Oh, uh, yeah, well, Be with you. Come on. Find me, find me a real girl. I'm not, into, I'm not turned on All by... All right, Sal. Tracy, Tracy Morgan was being interviewed at halftime at that Nick Miami game. He said that uh, Sarah Palin and uh, Tina Fey were good masturbation material. Uh, they look alike. Uh, I could picture those two girls... Uh, Puking up their guts, and I would masturbate. Uh, Come on, get puked also. on your fucking jacket. No, Let's go. Lay down, I'm not interested. Head. I don't like having male. I'm not. I'm sorry. No, I don't like like. Down. I don't like uh, being uh, men. Men puke. I'm, I'm not a man. I'm uh, a woman. Uh, I don't believe it. <laughs> Did you see my yeah. pussy? What's yeah. matter with you? I got a cut, you stupid yeah. asshole. It turns me. It turns Lay me down. off. Let me puke it, on it you. It turns me off. <laughs> No. Fucking freaking uh, no, no. Jerk. You're because, uh, your does your shit. father ever yell at you and call you a freaking ninja? Uh, yeah, like uh, yeah, yes. Yeah, does yeah, Salah sound like your dad? I, I consider myself to no. I'm not. I don't want to put him down. I think he's a he's a, he's a guy. He's a guy in drag. Right. Okay. Yeah. And that's not my thing. Sally. What? Unsuccessful. Yeah, of course. The guy's a jerk off. Doesn't know a hot chick when he sees one. What's the matter with him? The fucking ass wipe. Do you think anyone else here would be... Gotta do this stupid shit and that fucking asshole make a jerk off out of myself. That fucking asshole won't lay down and let me vomit on him. Fucking idiot. I put up with all this fucking bullshit and he's standing like a fucking... Ch like, a, like, a, like a fucking chooch. Shithead. Rejection's hard. It is. Rejection is hard. Could be worse. I could look like him. Hey, nice ass, Sally. Nice ass. Sally. I'm strictly heterosexual. I get this. I walk around the East Village. Do you want to fuck a woman, or you don't care about that? Um, 
Yeah, well, probably if uh, the uh, the, um, the stimulus, the foreplay, would be, uh, you know, uh, seeing a girl get, telling me she's nauseous, getting sick, and then my dick would get hard, something and I would stick it up her ass, okay? So, something tells ass, me, why would you stick her ass? ass? I mean, I would, uh, I might, you know, be behind her, and my dick would be erect, and says she's bending over a toilet, and I'd be... Is your fantasy to bang a chick while she's, she's vomiting? vomiting? Yeah, yeah, I guess that would be a better fantasy, a, a, a biological girl, yes. Yes, a biological girl. A, a biological girl, yeah, a girl that was born a girl, a pretty girl, uh, Pamela Anderson, uh, Britney Spears. Now, what is this? Are... You have a friend who's into this, too. You you know other people who do yeah, this. They, yeah, I have And a, you guys a... went out and you tried to what? There was this guy, Michael, from Jersey. He had a website, a Vomit Online, for three years. Uh, <laughs> he had a few subscribers, not that many. He felt like it was a one-man wrecking crew. He had to do the lighting, the cameras. He, we got girls in different venues to... Uh, to do puke, puke scenes for the internet. They, they got, uh, got drunk, they got a little wasted, they took some Ipecac so syrup. So is this guy your friend? Uh, he's my friend. And but he started a website. You two were trying to get girls to vomit yes, on camera. Yes, we, we successfully did. I, we, uh, we had uh, uh, several girls uh, do that on And he's worse than you. He uh, likes girls to shit on him. Right, right, exactly right. He, he's into scat, and apparently that's more acceptable than my particular thing. So, so, did, so did you let the girl shit on you too? Um, well, when I was with the dominatrix with him once, yes. The, in order for her to do what I wanted, she first had to, uh, uh, we had to fulfill her desires, and, and she said by shitting on us, that would get her, get her in the right mood. Uh, she would take a dump right into his, on his face. And, uh, and, uh, and you saw that. I was kind of, uh, that's, it's not, that's not my... It's a depraved world. It's so not my shit, scene, okay? That's did really she not shit my on thing. you? Um, a, a, a drop. And Let me that, that, where do you go to find a, as you call it, a dominatrix? Where you can you go, dominate? Where do you go? These you know, dominatrixes dominatrix. are dominant. They don't it's, want to be submissive. They don't want me to stroke, be able to stroke. You're frothing throat. at the mouth. Why? Yeah, can, I know. Wait, shh, calm down. Yeah, I get it. All it's all so all, disgusting. Yeah, I get all uh, uh, unsettled. I'm sitting there. That's what I'm watching. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching the, the of course, I get of unsettled mouth. by the fact that my particular thing. All right, you like to be vomited on. Yeah, this, so where there's a vomit club in this world. So you hooked up to this with this guy who likes that too, and he likes to be shit on. That's Yeah, yes, yes, yes. But he's so where did you money talks and bullshit walks. He has a prominent job, right. okay? He has, a, like, a double life of Walter Mitty. He has a, a, a life, a family, a career. But really? Yet, yet His he, wife doesn't know he likes to be um, defecated um, on? Uh, uh, no. He, he was able to keep it secret for 20-some odd years. Now he's, uh, he goes on Craigslist, his profile, Facebook. Oh, he's I, divorced. He's now divorced from his wife. He's now playing the field. He's met a few wom uh, women who, you know, he has many different fetishes, okay? One of them is scat. Is scat. Even though the vomit online thing catered to uh, vomit, he is with a scat, okay? All right. Me, oh, Why did you end up going in the same room with him? Because you can't afford your own dominatrix? Uh, right, I can't. No, that's right. I can't. I'm a very poor individual, okay? I can't even have my own home so computer. So he says okay? to you, hey, Jeff, I'm yeah. your friend. Let's go visit the dominatrix. Right. You go there to, with him. He yeah. knew of this woman? One woman that he's Was she attractive? A, yes, she was an attractive uh, black lady, yes. And you go into her home? No, we, we went to a ho we went to a hotel. You go to a hotel? A, mo a motel. Motel. Yeah. Yeah. And what is the fee to have somebody vomit and, uh, and, and defecate? I would say anyway, about 250 about $250. All right, and she so. was really attractive, nice body, yeah, whole yes, thing. Yes, right. yes, But how do you prepare the room? Uh, well, you know, you don't. You just do it spontaneously. The the cleanup crew, I mean, uh, oh, the maids, oh, the, you know, oh, you're so it's just shit, oh, just, you know. On, right. the, on the floor, on the bed, so Did what? He so, so let me understand. To take me through this. Yeah. You guys get in there. Do you guys get nude? Yes, yes. So he's naked and you're yeah, naked. Yes, yes. You're standing there. Right. Or, or she's telling us to squat down and kneel, da kneel right, down. Right, she's humiliating. Right. It's a humil humiliation scene. You yes. like that? Uh, yes. Uh, but if I could be in control, not being controlled, if I can control it. In other, in other words, I don't need a dominatrix. I need a submissive girl. Right. Okay? So you said to her, okay, vomit on me. And she right? said what? And she told me, she told me first to suck, suck, suck her toes, suck her toes, or she wanted to, to, to take a golden shower on us or a brown shower on us and do things like that. She said in order for me in to In order do for me to plead, to believe, you know, she wanted to, to see him and I, you know, uh, um, 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 uh, close together as, as there's shit all over us, and that would get us in the mood. So now, don't get you, at at any mood. point, do you say to yourself, God, this is crazy what I'm doing? I mean, well, this is it disgusting. seemed like a You're in a room with a man naked. <laughs> He's, you're kneeling near each other, and she's shitting on you? Well, picking, you know, it, it seemed like in order to, to do what, for her to do what I wanted, she, you have to basically and what is adhere it, to her needs. Is it like a fever inside of you? Like you're like, I'll do anything just to get this woman to vomit. 
Um, it's basically it wasn't. I basically was kind of intimidated and unsettled that I this is what I have to go through to to uh, it was uh, to to get what I want because it was obviously the wrong type of. Um, um, a chick, the wrong type of dominatrix. So when you're in a room and she begins, so so now yeah. you're naked, you've sucked her toes, your yeah. friend has sucked her toes, yeah, I assume, yeah. and now she says, okay, I'm going to give a brown shower to both yeah, of you. Yeah, because she says, both you guys are making me so sick and dis disgusting, I'm going to uh, disgust it, I'm going to throw up all over you, you know. That. All right, so, so when she goes, to, first yeah. she has to make a duty on you, right? Yeah, yes, that seems to be, uh, And where does she put the duty, on your back? Um, she, well, for, for him, she she did it right on his face. And he liked that. Does she, the whole she squatted right down on his face and almost into and almost into his mouth okay? and what is he doing is he masturbating uh, yes he's, he's getting very turned he's getting very turned were you on upset by, by seeing him masturbating uh, uh, no i wasn't i wasn't upset i was just i was kind of entertained and curious to sh proving to me that there are people out there who have many, many different fetishes and that's things. That's what's that, going through your head at the time. And does the yeah. room stink to high hell from the, the duty? There's a, there's a smell, actually. It stinks more, much more than a violent puke, okay? Uh, right. right. I, and, can, and, I and, can never get into it. Uh, the, 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 the scat. Right. So he, Which she, is more prevalent than puke, apparently. Uh, more Prevalent. More people, more girls. So you, did, you didn't, uh, so at, at no time did duty end up on you? Um, there was a little. How did it get on you? Well, she, um, she had it, uh, I was in a position where um, lying on the ground, and she basically uh, got it onto my thighs, or uh, the de got it and what do you do? Do you wipe it off? I washed, I washed it off. Okay, uh, just so like after, if a so girl was to vomit on me, I would, I would take a shower. I would take a shower. I, I wouldn't be. Uh, I like that know. Robin's eating through this. How do you wow. eat? What are you I don't eating? Listen. What the <laughs> fuck are you eating? How do you? I'm ready to die here. What are you eating? I could have a three course meal and enjoy my food, and, and, and you know, <laughs> yeah, the other we see food, that. But what are you eating, Robin? Honestly, vegetable. Vegetable. You could eat a vegetable right now. Through that, there's people defecating in his friend's mouth. I wasn't. I stopped listening wow. because it was just disgusting. Hey. Well, didn't you once say I'm a vomit-inducing agent? And you said, <laughs> Howard, I'm, I'm, my best, the you, best friend is the stomach flu. Okay? You, you picked the, the right, the, the right uh, fetish because and, and, you can make anyone throw and up. And Artie, Artie Lang said uh, when when Kendra Jade was here ten years ago in the other bill, he said uh, uh, she, he'll bang the bags right out of her eyes or something like that. So anyway, <laughs> so right. then and then the woman agreed to vomit on you, and so she did. Uh, right, right, yeah. She, but again, that's. It's not really my scene. I wanted one on one someone who has the fetish, who has a desire vomited, to get sick and nauseous and feel nauseous, and, and, and I'd be the vomit coach. I would be uh, the one in control. I need when the woman vomited on you, and I'm choking as yeah. I said, do you, do you masturbate? Um, yeah, yes, I, yes, did. I do. To yes. completion. Or in front of me, not necessarily on me, but in front of me. Yes, I would masturbate. That's all my, right. that's what my And now after this world. is all done, there's shit, there's vomit, there's everything, yeah. the room stinks. There's kiss, there's, uh, You guys all get up and leave. Lord. And you take, leave that for the, take the a shower. Man. No, take a shower, uh, clean. And we have some bags, some lining under, some mats, some uh, uh, black uh, bags. The woman the, leaves what, right after she vomits? Uh, mm -hmm. she, well, she hangs out a little bit and then she, she takes a hike, you know. Right. Uh, she knew, she knew him. She, he was her customer for several times, and okay. they, they were good friends. It yeah, seems like you some... need to know someone to be able to, you know, them to know you, to, to, to you're safe to be around for them to, you know, to, to be willing but meanwhile, to... Meanwhile, it's $250. Do you leave a tip for the chambermaid who has to clean all this? You leave a tip. No, I, don't, I can't leave any. I can't leave <laughs> anything. Can't I'm, leave a, any I'm any a poor money. individual. Okay? But did he leave some money? Uh, yeah, yes. He did. Yes, what does yes. he leave for a chambermaid after just shit and vomit on everything? Leave 20, about 20, a $20. 20 dollars. Dollar bill, yeah. uh, Is there any banging that goes on? Well, did you establish Ma that? Michael do, uh, bangs. He bangs his wife all these years. No, did no, he no. Bang no. The... Did he bang the, the hooker? Uh, or yes, the yeah, yes. A part of the the part of it is is uh, you know you 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 get the for, the foreplay which is uh, whatever the fetish is being role played and then out he and then that that enhances why didn't you bang the her? sexual libido. Okay, <clears throat> why didn't you bang? Because she didn't want me to to to, ba to she bang. She didn't want her, you okay? anywhere near her. Because I was uh, there for a vomit scene. I was just like a a tag alonger. I was a. Uh, I wasn't the one uh, who was paying the, the majority of the money. I'm just... Why do you say dominatrix if you go to so many dominatrixes? <laughs> I, I don't. I don't really. What is that? What I really don't need is a dominatrix. I need. Uh, I mean. I mean. I need some type of your freaky life is, chick out there. Is your Dom life a disaster? I mean, you live with your father. Yes, it is. It a, is yes. a disaster. And I'm a very pathetic.
pathetic individual. Okay? You know that at least. I'm a very pathetic individual who uh, doesn't seem to ever get his comeuppance or his desires met. What do you mean or, his comeuppance? Uh, I mean, you mean you need to be I reprimanded? Mean, I mean, I recall three years ago when I was here, I thought you said, Howard, that you were going to find me a, a girl, a, a vomit girl. Getting my... your comeuppance means that you haven't been punished. Uh, no, I'm, well, I'm for, trying for to the, say, the, the getting, my do, getting my due. Oh, okay? you're getting your due. Getting you think my you're, due. Because I, I feel that I'm doing something. nothing what do you, wrong. But what do you have to offer a woman? You have no okay. job. You have no money. You're not handsome. I offer my, you, I you're, offer you're well, a bore. I, I mean, what, no. well, who's going to sit and be with you in, in a real I loving relationship? I think I have a very humorous uh, personality, okay? All right. And I do have a couple of, uh, I do have uh, a girlfriend that I've been seeing for 14 years who really? lives in oh. New Jersey. When, when uh, did this happen? She, uh, 14 years ago. I know her. Yeah. But she's not a vomit girl, and she's just not. So what do you do? You fuck her? Just, no, no. So she's not your girlfriend. She's a friend. She, she's a good friend. Yeah, I know right. you said that same thing a few years ago. Right. Uh, well, her name is, uh, well, whatever. Do you have any, I mean, this guy Do you who, see her, or do you just talk to her on the phone? I see her a couple times a month. She oh. lives in a residential living facility. In New Jersey, residential living mean? facility. I mean, she, I mean, she's what's she's, wrong with her? She's disabled. She's handicapped. She takes. Uh, oh, well, she that's takes. Uh, she's she, very lonely. She takes. Uh, yeah, she's only a, a girl who's lonely. Both her parents are dead. Right. Uh, her brother uh, couldn't let her stay. How there. lonely would you have to be in order to be his friend? I gotta find out. She's on some kind of medication. She's on silacril silic and clonopin and all these <laughs> other medications <laughs> that I've never taken in my life because I don't take any medications. Do they want ever. you? Be, did your doctor want you on medication? No, not really, because I never. Never stuck to any psychiatry long enough to be uh, prescribed. Is your father completely disgusted with you? Um, n no, he, he tells me basically says I should you know come to you. And, and does you know, he say you should get a job instead of being made a, f a buffoon of? Right. Far, you know. Find me, you know, maybe if you have the power to do so, maybe, maybe I, I'm false in thinking you, maybe I feel you do have some, some um, control. There's a girl on, on the phone who wants to uh, vomit for you. I would sure love to be this with. This is him. Wendy. Wendy, hi. <laughs> Actually, Wendy would be perfect. Right. It's, I can hear it, that's for sure. Oh, God. Now I can't. <laughs> what do you think of this? Uh, how do I know that's not a guy? No, it's a girl. <laughs> that's Wendy. A girl. Wendy? She's, she's retarded. I, oh, I like to I like to meet I like to meet I like to meet her. <laughs> she's always throwing up. It's just spontaneous with her. I like to, I like to meet her. I like... Bulimic chick, well, I shouldn't say bulimic chicks, okay? Because I don't right. encourage bulimic girls to be sticking their f fingers down their throat not to puke, okay? I want to meet some girls who just uh, maybe like to get wasted or drunk or eat too much. Well, I, I you know, as are, you say. I keep feeling there are girls out there, they make There are no tapes. girls out there who want to be. You've been forget. advertising this for how many years? But there are no girls who want to be with a guy who doesn't take care of himself physically, who doesn't work, who isn't motivated to do anything, lives with his father. He's 50-something years old, lives with his father. You've gone to Girls aren't, you know what, everything else aside, maybe a girl would be vomiting in front of you, but you're you're a mess. Well, I need, you if don't. I can't be with normal people, I guess I need to be with freaky people who uh, who might have uh, different perversities or degeneracies. Now, I don't really think I'm a degenerate. I don't think I'm a pervert, okay? I've never been in trouble with the law. I'm not a pedophile. I'm you know, not you a, do a look child like, molester. He looks like Benji, doesn't he? Okay. He could be Benji's brother. I'm not a child molester. No wonder Benji likes I've him. never done anything wrong. What? I just have he has a nice face? You like his face. I just have this eyes. Picture him in a suit. He would look like a nice, normal guy. I'm, I'm <laughs> probably 40, 40 pounds Listen, overweight. It's gross but to me, but so is right. homosexuality. I ride my bike every day. I don't know why I should be that out of shape. I ride my bike. You guys have a similar look. But mm -hmm. you know, when you get older, things don't get easier. You know, they get gets harder. You know, it it, it gets harder to do. You, things. To be into the things you're into, you need Charlie Sheen money, and you don't have it. Yeah, Charlie Sheen. I heard about what happened to him uh, recently. Okay, uh, no. writing out thirty thousand dollar checks and bringing porn girls over in the industry to watch his porn tapes and right. he gets with the crap, the cocaine or whatever. Right. I don't do drugs. I don't, I'm don't. i a real square. I never did drink. I never smoke. Okay, I don't smoke marijuana ever. Okay, I, I just... Never even tried it. I walk around the city. I get my, my rocks off. I see girls coming out of clubs, wasted bars on a Saturday night. They're puking in the street. Do you always really? with their you entourage. That? Always with their entourage. That's smart. That's smart, though. They're always with their entourage. I mean, they're always well protected. Right. I'm, I'm the one. I'm the one alone. Yeah. There's, I mean, everybody is uh, spoken for, it seems. Everybody's accounted for. Their friends, their boyfriends, their girlfriends. Right, Rochelle with... wants to puke yeah. for you. She's on the phone. Rochelle, hi. Hello? R Rochelle? Oh, th Rochelle, are you there? Rochelle?
Sounds like male vomit. Oh, you can tell the difference? You have an ear. <laughs> yeah. It seems like male, males vomiting, it seems much more like they, they don't hold back. They have less in, inhibition. Well, Robin, we found out what uh, Jeff uh, well, is all I about. Well, I see what happened here, and mm -hmm. I feel bad for Jeff, and I feel bad for his family because... I can I can see um, under what he's saying what went on. I got it I got it my third. He was a normal boy until about 13 years old. <laughs> yeah, so. and what happened? That's what I'm trying to figure. Schizophrenia. I see. Yeah. No, that's he told us once. Mm -hmm. He when he was about 11, he saw his cousin vomit. Or and like that's, more, more no, like a danger. Yeah, I'm not talking about the fetish. I'm talking about why he he can't function in life. So he he had a break. Yeah. You had a break with reality? Do you hallucinate? No, no, I don't. I don't hallucinate. I, so then, what are you saying, Rob? I don't Compos know. I, I'm in would, compulsive, no, he, compulsive he, thinking. I don't know. Uh, he, does, you know, and it's not only hallucinations. It's an inability to figure out what's real, what's not. You is know, that true? You like, can't figure out what's real and what's oh, not. I can figure out what's. I know what's real. Uh, what is real? You would have to be in his head. He seems to be. He seems able to work. I know you know, what's again, real. just thinking. Oh, you know what? Mm. I'm. I'm too good for the post office. Right. You know these grandiose thoughts of who he should be. You know I don't. Or where I should be, time. or you yeah. know what, what I should be, or. So how much does the government pay you to to have this? Uh... Right. I get the stand. I get eight hundred dollars a month. Wow. They don't just give you that. What money. a great country. Yeah. And I but get this. I get Medicare, Medicare, Medicaid. But this food, is America. Food stamps. Okay. He really can't hold a job. Where is he going to work? You eat uh, with food stamps. When you go to the, how did you get to the Nick game? If you uh, you watch no, on I TV. I saw. I saw you at the Nick, oh, okay. Nick game uh, talking. He's watching I, I, TV. Yeah. Waving. I saw. Uh, if you go to the Nick game, can you bring food stamps with you and, and like get <laughs> hot dogs and stuff? I couldn't afford to go to any Madison Square Garden in, in a Nick game. I right. Couldn't, I couldn't afford that. And I'm not a New York. I'm not a New York fan. I, I, I root. I hate with an intense hatred the four New York teams. So why do you watch them on TV? It seems like I love to hate. I love to root against them. Right. Okay. Right. My teams are the Steelers, who are obviously a world-class team. The Pen Pittsburgh Penguins, another world-class team. How do and you the, spend the, the whole... Pirates, which are the doormats? How do you spend a, a a day? I mean, what do you do all day? Do you walk around? I do my shopping. I take care of my. Uh, I have cats and I have birds. Right. When Ted Sum when Ted Simmons Summons was at my house he uh, last spring over uh, Howard in Demand they were doing a whole segment on me so, so I thought How he, many cats do you have? I used to have uh, seventeen now I have ten. <laughs> now I have ten. Ten. Ten cats. Yeah, ten Your father cats. allows that? Yeah, they're all well well taken care of. They're well, all healthy. What happened to the seventeen? They died. Uh, no, we gave Seven? some up for adoption. And, oh, were you forced to? Uh, no, I did it on my own. I have a feeling that it would be too much. Too much uh, to hoarding of the animals. I didn't, right. think, I didn't think it was, it was becoming. What an... other things do you have? Birds. I have uh, parakeets. It was and, becoming and, an. And doves and homing pigeons. Oh God. Uh, uh, what is? Where? What kind of place do you live in? It's a small apartment, it's right? It's a four-room, a four-room apartment. A four-room apartment. How yeah. many birds live in there? And cats. We have four, four nice bird cages, and the birds are small birds. What the? What could be uh, oh. so terrible? Oh, there you are. What? Who is that? Is that your dad? Oh man. Who That's is him. that? That's Jeff. That's isn't Jeff. It? Oh, you had hair then. Oh, oh, I that's see. Me. Yes. Oh, that's you. Yeah, yes. that's you on TV. Th that's in my living room. That's right. That's a pigeon in there. <laughs> that's right. And how do the cats not eat the pigeons? That's uh, they're very they're very protective, very friendly uh, to them. They're... They don't attack the birds. That's, the, that's Dimitri, my pigeon. That's my. And the pigeon, pigeon can fly around without a cage. Uh, he has a cage, but he much prefers his his freedom. And the cats don't attack him. No, no, not at all. No, they're they're very uh, friendly. The cat like cats on the outside. They don't they don't go after pigeons. They might go after parakeets, but the parakeets are in a care. And, and your father doesn't mind all this. No, he lo he loves he loves them. He has his own favorite cat that he keeps in his uh, his room. Uh, you imagine the stink in that apartment oh, with all those cats and birds. I think that we were told about it. I don't think it. it no, it was t well taken care of. It's well cleaned, and it it shouldn't stink because mm. I spend my majority of my life cleaning up that that place. Okay. No. On an everyday basis. All right, all right, all right. Look, yeah. I can't take it. I, very, it's, I know it sounds like a very sorry. So you do. Uh, you admit to right. being a hoarder, and uh... did someone come to you and say, "Look, uh, you're hoarding cats now"? I used to have a family of dogs. They all lived to a ripe old age. I had six dogs, all one family, all born in the same house. Three sets of twins, a mother and a father. The dogs lived to be between the ages of 12 and 16. They're all dead now. Have no more dogs. Now I just have cats and and. Bird, all right, all right. I, you know, it's a fascinating okay. life. Uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, Beatrice uh, hey. wants to throw up for you. Yes, Beatrice. Yeah. What? Well, it just seems, see, it, it just seems like uh, there's, I don't know, no girl, and I'm sure a lot of girls listen in. I just, you know, I would like my, you know, them to get, contact me at howardshrine.com and, and, uh,
Uh, Nick, go ahead. You're on the air. Hey, Howard. Thanks, hey. man. Hey, uh, <laughs> this guy ought to be fucking locked up, man. Jeff, do you like to eat the vomit after they puke? No. No, you don't? That, no, I'm not into that. No, uh, um, seems like that would be part of the fetish. I know, I know some guys. I know a couple guys who said they, they oh, did. God. But I don't. That doesn't doesn't turn me on. <laughs> it's the visual act of watching. Like, it's glad to see you're normal. Uh, let's go to Pat. Hey, my favorite part of this interview is that you guys are talking to a guy who wants to shit and have grim vomit on him, and Howard corrects his grammar periodically. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like watching them shit, okay? I'm strictly into seeing girls puking, okay? All right, let's yeah, go to Mark. Don't get him confused. Yeah, it's insulting. Let's go to yeah, Mark. Yeah, it is insulting to me because I'm, I'm not a scat lover. Howard, have you eaten yet? Yeah, uh, yeah, I ate before he came in. I was, I made sure. Yeah. Oh man, no, I was just thinking, there's got to be some broke cancer patient. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's just, it's too much for me. It's too I mean, much. I don't know if they'd let him in the fucking hospital, yeah. but no, they probably would, 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 uh, would ban, would ban me as a persona non grata. Do you as think a you're person vile? Not welcome. Do you think you're vile? Do I? Uh, like, do you think that you understand why women aren't into you? Um, I'm no more vile as Artie Lang. Than, right. <laughs> I mean, right, right. But he has a girlfriend. He told Artie, you. Artie was with women. Yes, I have. A, I do. I have a girl. Right, right. And I would like to. Does I the attractive like the does the attractiveness level of the woman matter? Can you be with like big fat women and? Uh... I could be with uh, fat women that have pretty faces. I mean, uh, right. I, they have I, to look a little feminine. I mean, yeah. What is it? What the girls only want to hang out, hang out with guys with money. And fame, yeah. and, and they're all gold diggers, okay? Yeah, the first you, girl I ever know. lived with 20 years ago, her name was Susan. Uh, she was a gold digger. She also had ulcers. She would th always be throwing up for me. It was just 20-some-odd years ago, okay? But, but uh, she was a gold digger? She was a gold How digger. She wanted a Why would anyone who's going with you be a gold digger? She was going you with me and other, other, other guys, too, okay? I mean, uh, yeah, I've had temporary, I've had s right. some jobs. Well, let me tell you I something. know, I'm a very disappointment to, man, to mankind. Well, Jeff, okay? I don't know. Is there anything we can promote for you? Uh, Howard, HowardShrine.com. People want a sincere female. What is HowardShrine.com? HowardShrine.net. HowardShrine.net. What is that? That's um, 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 uh, a website, an email address that my buddy Doc in, in Jeanette, Pennsylvania, who's a chiropractor, who, who's, my, who's my agent, who, who knows you, or maybe you know him, uh, he has the Howard Shrine. Everybody who's ever been on uh, on Howard, you're going to show you. He has uh, dedications, monuments to their coming on. And, um, one and that's his, how people reach you. That because Yes, because I don't have my own home. I don't have a home computer. I have, uh, wow. uh, unless they call me on my cell phone, which they're very well welcome to. I gladly give out my cell phone number. Uh, who I don't are you have, giving it to? I don't have a, any, any girl who would like to reach me. To speak to me, not a guy, not a drag queen, not a transvestite. Did you ever go a, to a drag queen? Have you been fooled? Uh, one time, many years ago, one time when I used to go to street walkers and prostitutes back in the 80s, one time in the meatpacking district, I picked up a, a girl who looked like a girl. She told me, she showed me later she had a dick and she, she right. was a, a transvestite. And that was one time only. And, did you, and what happened? You left? Uh, I left or right after you, one. You, you'd hired her to vomit on you, uh, and... right? Right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And then when she we saw that she had a penis. Uh, were... Right. I got very turned off. There in my lifetime, there might have been on. I can count on one hand my experiences with hookers, where I actually had a very legitimate, good, enthralling, exciting vomit scene with a girl who was willing to to puke for, for you know. I guess for financial compensation. Right. Uh, but uh, she did it for me in the way I liked. Where I didn't have to be. You ever gonna wash your shirt? Uh, this shirt? Yeah. Uh, this shirt. This shirt is. That's washed. Just, yes, this wow. shirt washed. I was and say, I don't smell like vomit shirt. because no nobody has vomited me in a long time. Wow. Well, I take several several showers a day. Do you I follow can, the news at all? I mean, are like you worldly? Do you read yes, the paper? Yes, I'm, I'm very worldly. I watch the History Channel. Yeah. And uh, you know I what's guess going after on 2012, the world is going to come to an end. According to what Nostradamus, are you a Democrat or a Republican? I would say I'm a, a Democrat. Oh yeah. God. <laughs> You're very yeah. gross. Yeah. I'm just watching all the spit that comes out of your mouth. Yes, I well, my I get my father tells me to. Same thing. Well, well, I actually have some teeth teeth missing, so that's you know you know. See, yeah. Are you an Obama fan? Did you vote for Obama? Uh, no, no, I didn't. Have, I am a. I, I, why I did you a, vote? I think he's vote? a very pleasant chap. Yeah. He's why a, didn't you vote for him? Uh, I don't. I, I never. I never voted. Okay. I just, you don't vote. I never voted. I'm like. A, I the, mean, you do nothing all day. Uh, you can't vote. What's the? I'm like Ray Liotta in the movie Good Goodfellas. He, he's just born with a, a birth certificate and he dies. But you think in a country that's paying all never your bills, never pay taxes, taxes or anything. You what? 
never pay taxes because I never had a steady, you know, job. But don't well, you have to file anyway? Uh, not not if your income is low, is, is below poverty. Oh, okay. Poverty I don't standard. know. I don't know anything. Not when the government's paying him. <laughs> I've been on disability exactly for the better the better on. part of 20, 20 plus years. Okay. Right. And it didn't come easy for me. I had to get first a private lawyer because the, the government didn't think me to be disabled. I don't think you're disabled. They didn't think I me think to you be could disabled. Work. Okay. Yeah. It's just that a matter of the circumstances, I had jobs, and like you said, I felt like I was better than a job or something. I didn't feel I stayed belonged there. Okay, right, listen, I you're really salivating, and the shit yeah. coming out of your lips like I never saw you vile. Well, you see, I get worked. Right, I get worked. People up. watch on Howard TV and see your beautiful, uh, your beautiful way about you. I'm just. All right, listen I guess to me. I'm a disappointment. I guess. Uh, Jeff. Yeah. Jeff, the vomit guy. Yeah. will try and get in touch with you at uh, Howard Fan. Uh, uh, Howard, Howard Stern, Howard Shrine dot net. <laughs> Howard Shrine dot net. Yeah, the Howard Shrine dot net. All right. And if they want to actually speak to me, my uh, my agent, the doc, will uh, will uh, uh, hook you up. Hook me yeah. up. And you uh, get work as uh, from an agent? Yeah, I'll be a part of a vomit. Uh, I'll be a part of a vomit scene. You know, All right. Be a, a legitimate vomit. A legitimate yeah. vomit. Yeah, okay. not a fake right. vomit scene. All right. Okay. Well, Jeff, thank you so Doesn't much. Doesn't that sound strange? All right, we hope it's to see you. It's so good getting an update. Yeah, it was so good. I was wrong. <laughs> uh, everyone was right. It's I good want, getting I wanted it. to come down to, 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 to correct any misnomers about right. me or anything. Uh, Ethel's on the phone. She wants to shit for you, yeah. evidently. Yeah. Uh, Ethel, go ahead. I'm hearing nothing but sound effects. I don't, I don't hear any. Right. Like you said, there are a lot of misnomers about you, right? Mis mis misnomers, yes. Yeah, like what? Um, why, one, I like to be vomited on. Right. I it's, thought that. No, I'll be honest. No. It's a, <laughs> it's just a visualization to be able to see, see it. It doesn't right. have to All be right. vomited on. I get okay? it. I get it. Jeff, thank you so yeah. much. Jeff Levy, for anyone who is wondering what happened to Jeff, Jeff is alive. Yes, he's I'm well. alive, living in Brooklyn, New Brooklyn York. Brooklyn with his 10 cats and several birds yes. and homing pigeons. And very, very beautiful animals who are very loving and right. devoted and, uh, and, health, and, and healthy. And if there are any women out there who want to vomit for Jeff, please yeah. get in touch with him at HowardShrine.net. Right, thank All you. Right. Thank you, Jeff, okay. and good luck to you. Okay. I, I hope you uh, pull well, it together. Let's mark this on the calendar and not get an update for another right. January three or four years. Right. Is your health okay? You're, you're physically okay? Yes. Your health yes, is fine. I, Good. I'm physically God bless okay, you. All right. I'm, Robin, I'm do you know what? I'm terribly obese. You're right. Do you, you, do you want to know anything else? No. Right. I didn't right. even want to know this. All right. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Howard. Will, you're the one who said Jeff should come in here. Are you glad that you had him in here? Uh, sadly, yeah. I mean, it's <laughs> you been like kind him. of disgusting, but. <laughs> you funny. like him. All right. All right. <laughs> thank you, Jeff. And that earring, you look very... Wow, how look many... Look at that. He's got a whole row oh, of earrings. Oh. You have five diamond earrings. Yeah. Where did you get the money for the diamonds? I, uh, I bought... I had the money. I bought, I, I bought, I bought it. I played, I played a lottery. So I'm, a, I'm a lottery player. I win. Sometimes I win. You know? So you take the $800 and you play the lottery. Yeah. Don't yeah. you need every dollar to live? I, I, I live basically... I pay my cell phone bill. I contribute to the household. But I basically, over these years, I live rent-free. Okay. Yeah, and you think those diamonds make you better looking? Uh, I mean, no, it's a vanity uh, thing, I imagine. No, uh, how about my shaved head? I shaved my head. No, but I'm off. saying, like, like you're so grotesque. Mm -hmm. to, to put diamonds in your ear seems almost like a waste of time. I, I really didn't know I was that grotesque. I... I, I, I'm, I'm surprised. Well, you I, have to be. Oh, if you were white I, I thought writing, I'm a good-looking guy. If you were writing a, uh, an ad for a. Oh, I can't hear you. Okay, yes. Uh, I would wonder oh, no. how he would describe oh, himself in a right. personal ad. I listen. I'm a guy. What do I know if you're grotesque or not? Maybe you are good-looking. How would you describe yourself in a personal ad? Um, uh, Robin's right. Clean, clean-shaven, uh, five foot nine, uh, um, a little, a little pudgy in the midsection. Uh, um, not into any. Uh, any vices such as uh, uh, I'm not a drinker, I'm not a smoker. Never once in my life lifted up a cigarette. Would you? Once... Would you? In your description, would you put, "Hey, where's five diamond earrings?" Um, well, actually, they're zirconium. They're not diamonds. I, I thought so. Zirconium. Zirconium. Well, they sparkle. <laughs> they're uh, but would you right. say attractive? Silver. Uh, you would say attractive, clean cut. I, w I would say I'm not. Uh, I, I have a, a typical Jewish nose. Uh, Are you willing to date a smoker? Uh, yeah, I can. You would, okay. I, would, I, would, I don't yes. know. Do you have anything you don't like about a woman? I mean, like, are there any things you'd say, like, you don't want? Um, I don't, uh, I like, I like shapely, I like girls who are good, look, good looking, okay? Uh, Does it matter to you if the girl's religion is uh, the same? Uh, no, it has no, no care. Care. So I'm not a religious Jewish? person. Okay. I, right. I seem to tell everybody I'm an atheist, okay? Right. What, cele what, what celebrity do you think you look like? Um, oh, James Con. James Con. James Con. Really? really? Uh, Poor James Con. What is it, Gary? Just gotta go, cause
because I, I don't think we're ever going to get her back again anytime soon. That girl yeah. that you visit, well, the, or the one on Klonopin, in the whole history of knowing her, nothing's ever happened between you two sexually? Um, no, no we're, we're, uh, we're just we're kind of a platonic for a loving, it's a, like a loving friendship. You don't but kiss what do you her? Talk about we, with we, her? We kiss, but there's, uh, I'm just, unfortunately, I'm not physically uh, attracted to her. Yeah. Well, you're not attracted to her. I'm, I'm, I Can mean, you imagine? She's pretty, and she likes me, and she'll she'll give me the, the shirt off her back, okay? And, you know, she's poorer, she's poorer than I am. All right, she, I've had enough. Listen, yeah. there's what do your they update. Do? Do they, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do they do the whole time? I guess they talk. Do you talk the whole time? We go out to, to the mall. We go to movies. We go to, re we go to restaurants. We, <laughs> we talk about our lives. Oh, wow. so she knows I'm coming on today. Uh, she knows I'm coming. She knew. She, she knew. So here we've gotten an update on your life for yeah. 45 minutes. And, and basically we learned that nothing has happened to you in the last six years. I've been sta sta I'm stalemate, okay? I'm, yeah. I'm in a quagmire. He's in a holding pattern. You're in a quagmire. I'm in a, I'm in a quagmire. Uh. I'm in a holding pattern, okay? I'm just <laughs> waiting. I'm knew. waiting for the next step. I'm waiting for magic to happen, right. okay? That's why I knew there was no reason for an update. Do you think magic will happen? Are you an optimist? I, I think maybe by me coming on the radio, maybe uh, I'll, I'll get, I'll actually get some phone calls. I'll meet some people. Uh, some people. Do you think this coming decade will be better for you than the last? Uh, well, I, I hope so because my mother died in this past de decade. She died, she's dead eight years now. Right. She she didn't die over a heartbreak over. She died because she was physically sick for 17 years with a blood disorder. Okay? Right, right. Had nothing to do with me. Well, just she buy had gotten another, over her heartbreak. Get another pigeon. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, <laughs> you got my, room my now. pigeons are the, are my sanctuary. They are my my the saviors. My animals are my are my saviors. Okay, they yeah. they they provide me uh, companionship and. Did you ever see your mother vomit? And friendship. When I was young, yeah, I did. When did I you ever jerk off watching your mother uh, vomit? No, no, no. I was. What too about when your cats vomit? You know, because sometimes they get hairballs. You, you don't dig that? They do it, but I'm right. not, it just doesn't <laughs> turn right, me thank on. Thank you, thank you. All right, Jeff. Okay. Listen, I'm glad I got this update. Yeah. I'm glad that I learned nothing. Yeah. Nothing has changed since the last update. Yeah. Uh, uh, I know I'm not a highbrow personality. Uh, well, know. listen, we you're love you. You're a big star here. Yeah, you're our big star. Well, thank you. I worship you too. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff the vomit guy. Jeff the vomit guy. Levy. Yeah. Yes, uh, who we, is uh, not uh, Jeff? I is uh, or, or Jizz? Uh, right. Will Will I am? I'm his half brother, Jeff. Jeff I is. See you in. Uh, <laughs> let's book him back for 2022. <laughs> All right. We'll see you in 2022. Thank you, Jeff. There he goes with his cubic zirconium uh, earrings. Wow. Hi, Jeff. Yes. Do you question. consider that a successful appearance? Did you, I, I you feel as though I, you cleared I, I up I those got, misnomers? I think I got to say I don't, I don't need a face, face mask. I'm not, uh, I don't know what vomit I'm going to use. Yes, I think I, I don't know if I cleared up any misnomers or I just sent, sent them into a state of confusion. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I, what I do. I'm hoping to accomplish something. Um, the reality, of the, what I hope for, the reality, what it is, remains to be seen. I don't know. I like to talk. I like to. I could talk about many subjects. Actually, I'm good in with sports. I'm good with uh, uh, fantasizing about my love of watching women vomiting. Okay, boy, that is. I just grew up with. It. That's me. Okay, uh, you know. That's. And I. And maybe I appall people. Maybe I'm a persona non grata. Maybe I disgust people. But I'm me. I'm the way I am. Okay. And I want to meet people, maybe similar. If I can't be with normal people, let me be with freaks, okay? Let me be with freaky people who have an open minding and understanding of, of, of what sexuality could be, okay? How I want to present my sexuality, okay? That's, that's, that's me. I go to a therapist, good looking, I had it for a past year. I fantasize about her constantly vomiting. I cannot d d divulge what clinic she works out of or what her name is. She doesn't want me to, but uh, she doesn't mind me telling you that, that I, I can fantasize about her vomiting. I don't go to her to try to help me get over this puke desire, okay? I don't like, I don't do that, okay? I want to enhance my sexual prowess. I want to enhance my, uh, my desires, okay? By finding people who uh, endeavor into these practices, fetishes or, uh, uh, fetishes, right. I mean, you're... Alternative lifestyles, alternative lifestyles, okay? Right. And that's what I really think. And it's how many millions of people in America, 300 some odd million, where are there's got to be some people out there, okay? I mean, you're frothing at the mouth just thinking yeah, about it. Right, exactly. I get very turned, I get very carried away, I go, thinking of the frustrations and the failures I've had over the years, you know, of <laughs> hoping and thinking I'm going to find, you know, and everybody thinks I'm a joker or a buffoon, okay? I don't look to make an idiot out of myself. 
Okay, I don't look to. Of I course look not. to be sincere. Right. Okay. Right. And, uh, and I don't think I don't consider that I have any psychiatric disorder. I just think that I have to be fine to people who have the same type of fetishes or desires or the understanding of of, of, of what gets a guy turned on. But Howard okay. said that no girl will want you because you have nothing going on. Well, I have nothing going on. Well, they they, they just want me because I'm down to earth, and they want me because they want to be. That's all. They want me because they want to be. Okay. Lisa, you said you you, you mentioned recently that you're. You're single, no, Jeff. You're. I mean, do we have a possible? No. Are you into? Do you have any vomit tendencies or? Yeah, I'm gonna throw up on you. You're making me nauseous. Uh, <laughs> hey, Jeff. I never noticed. Do you have like a superior memory? Uh, yeah, I have a good memory for history. But it's not like an Otterberger. Like we had like a Mary Lou Henner on recently. She has like she can. You can say a date. She can remember exactly what happened. Yes. Yeah, you could. You, I could probably do uh, uh, do that. Uh, for what? One and then give me a date or something? Uh, if I say like March 19th, uh, 2005, do you remember what you were doing on that day? Uh, no, to be honest with uh, so no, no. Okay, no. I, but you do no. seem to have a great memory. But uh, I don't yeah. like, uh, I agree with Jeff, like, I find it gross what he likes, but I don't think he's a bad person. No. I don't think it's any different than, and for some reason people find it so gross, mm -hmm. they, they want to be violent towards you, they want to destroy you. It's the same as They people. want to think I smell like vomit. I, 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 no, no one's vomit on me, okay? But it's, it's, you know, it's I don't no smell like people, vomit. Uh, I take several showers a day. I think I, hygienically I'm probably cleaner than a lot of people, okay? Because I don't, I don't do, do, do I have a body? Do I smell? Do you smell anything? I thought once I did, but maybe it's psychological. Benji, get in there. Huh? Get in there and smell. Do I smell right hey, do, I, do you smell anything? It's a tiny bit, but a body odor, but it's not like bad. Mm -hmm. Like I smell that you're a person. Uh, yeah, well, I don't, this is wash. I wash my clothes. Yeah. I take showers. Okay. Why, why should I, uh, because they, they probably figure this guy's vomit all. It's, you know, it's. But I, I must display a very, uh, the persona well, that I display. Well, people are grossed out by it. It's, it's the same know. as, like, uh, I don't think there's, listen, I think homosexuality is fine. If you're, it's YouTubers, yucky to me. But this is yucky, too. And this is one of the things. People like to take out their anger on you. Maybe it's called an infant, infantilism, where you like to play with bodily fluids or something, you know, uh, like, like little infants. Uh, but I don't think it's, I just think it's a diverse fetish. That I seem to have entertained myself with over these years, and I—that's what you like. I'm, the, yeah. I, well, I like gambling too. I, right. I, I, I'm a big lottery player. I mean, I don't like <laughs> it, but there's a lot of things I don't. You, you know, I'm sure you—you yes, you don't like the shitters. Hi, Robin. Hello. I think I saw you on Jimmy Kimmel. I think you did. Uh, <laughs> I was interested. See, look at Ronnie. He's so angry about it. Angry about anything. Yeah, you. So, uh, yeah, I remember. Uh, you have a, for some, you bring a out a mustache thing from last. You, uh, you <laughs> bring sure out does. disgusting people. Uh, well, I should. I should bring out disgusting people. I should bring out um, human curiosity. But he's not hurting anybody. I don't think. Right? I mean, I don't. I don't. It's a consenting type thing. Okay? Just my own, my own desires. Okay. Yeah. You know, I'll go home and watch some porn tapes or some. And I don't think he's that bad looking. I don't think your profile is great. Yeah. But your, if you look at your front view, I think you have a nice face. Well, hey, well, I maybe I'm a little. Oh, you can lose, you can lose uh, it. Maybe I have a little muscle. I don't know. I bike. I exercise. I don't know. So I should say, uh, well, if, if Will I am from the Black Eyed Peas, he could be Will I am, then Jeff I is. Yes, you've mentioned. And that. I is a vomit lover. Yes, you've mentioned. Of girls. That. Right. Not guys. Not transvestites. Not cross dressers. Not homosexuality. I'm not into that. Maybe in their community, it's prevalent and it's relevant. That's not me. I'm looking for a, a girl. Right. We want yeah. to keep things prevalent. Yeah, I want. That's why I come on. Right. Because I think maybe some girl will contact me. And if not, well, I don't know. I'll keep trying. Okay. Maybe All right. I'll make a name for myself. All right. Until next time, Jeff. Until next time. I hope there'll be. A